Chronicles. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of this YouTube thing, so I thought I would try my hand at those hack videos that everyone likes so much. I'm ready for the hack! So here are my top six practice hacks. is consistency. You have to practice every day you eat. Fine, I guess I won't eat today. The most important thing with learning an instrument is touching your instrument every single day. I notice with my students that there's a huge difference between the ones that practice three days a week and the ones that practice five to seven days a week. Let's do some math. If one student only practices three days a week for a month and the other student practices six days a week for the month, the first student will have only practiced 12 days, which is less than half of the month. The other student will have practiced 24 days, which is almost the whole month. As you can imagine, just by practicing more often, the student who has practiced 24 days of the month will be more prepared for lessons. I know it can be overwhelming to get through all your practice lists every day, but I promise you if you only have five minutes and all you can do is play a scale that day, that scale is totally worth it. Those five minutes add up and just being able to pick up your instrument every single day will make a big difference. The second hack is patience. I like to think of patience as a muscle that you can grow over time. Doing anything that involves an immense amount of concentration, like playing a musical instrument, can be really frustrating at times for anybody, for everybody, and anyone of any skill level. I'm just going on now. <laughs> It's really important to practice developing patience with yourself. I know it's much easier said than done, but the more you try, the better it will become. I just rhymed. The third hack is to relax your muscles. Just like how being patient relaxes your mind, it's important to also relax your body. I find it with everyone, it's a natural tendency that the harder you try to do something, the more you tense your muscles while you do it. So while you're playing a fast passage, you might be tensing up trying to just get the notes right. That makes your life much harder because the more tense your muscles are, the slower they move. They're running fast. So whenever you find yourself getting tense while you're trying to do something, just try to take a breath, take the violin down, bend your knees, relax your toes, and try to recenter and then go back to it from a more relaxed place. I promise you when you get back to it, your muscles will be more relaxed and it'll feel much easier. If you have a hard time remembering to do this, you can always put a timer on your phone for every three minutes or five minutes. When it goes off, it'll remind you to relax your muscles and recenter. The fourth hack is that there should be no judgment in the practice room. I know this sounds weird since in the practice room, you're supposed to be self-critical and figure out what you're doing wrong so you can fix it. But I find harsh negative judgment in the practice room to be really unhelpful. I had a teacher in undergrad tell me that mistakes are just information. It sounds so simple, but I thought this was a really helpful tip. Whenever I was making mistakes when I played, I would always beat myself up. How could I make this mistake? But then I tried to change my conversation in the practice room. After I made a mistake, I would say, okay, what's the information? What is this mistake telling me? If I'm playing a passage and I play the B flat too sharp, I know that this mistake is just telling me to play my B flat lower. It seems so simple, but normally I would get all caught up with how am I such a terrible violinist and how could I play so out of tune, which just isn't helpful commentary. Thinking of mistakes as just simple information helps you get more efficiently through your practice session and get what needs to get done, done. Hack number five is to play slowly. I'm sure you've heard this before and the old saying is true, practicing slowly is really important. It may seem counterintuitive, but if you want to be able to play something fast, you have to practice it slowly. If you practice things too fast, they go by without giving you a chance to really think about them and hear all of the notes. You'll often miss things in the practice room that you could totally solve if you played it much slower. The final hack is figure it out first. I've noticed a lot of people practice by playing something over and over again, hoping to get it right. The problem with this is you're often practicing it wrong a lot of times before you're actually getting it right. The same people often stop playing it once they get it right and move on to something else. This is the opposite of what you actually want to do. If you play something wrong, stop. Think about it before you play it again and really figure out what exactly you want to change to make it better. Once you get it right and you know it's right, then you can repeat it a lot of times and get it into your muscle memory. The point of practicing is playing it right over and over again so you can always get it right. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see my channel grow, please click subscribe below. I post videos every Wednesday and my previous videos will be up there. Don't forget, practice makes permanent, not perfect. Doing anything that
it involves immense amount of concentration. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought about it again. 